like what was particularly discouraging about this game? I'm going to start with the running scheme. Let's talk coaching first. I'll get to the players. First play of the game, what'd they do? Who remembers, I'm going to call in the class, who remembers what the Niners did on their first offensive play? What was the what was the formation? What was it? Okay, you guys don't remember. It was shotgun. It was a kittle catch. It was shotgun. And then what was the first run of the game? What was the formation? Shotgun. The shotgun sweeps left and right all game. That's what they did. And they did it a lot with Mostert. Um, and it didn't work. Now, Coleman had a pretty good game. Coleman runs that play pretty well because he's not super fast. Uh, he is a, he wants to cut back anyway. Mostert doesn't want to cut back. Mostert wants to get to the edge and get downhill. And this time, what they did was, when you change, it seems simple, right? Like the quarterback's under center. Now you put him in the shotgun. What's different? Well, where, where the running back starts, the play is different. The angle he takes to the line of scrimmage is different. His sprint spots are different. His reads are different. Everything's different. That kind of shotgun sweep where you just run like, East West for about nine yards and then make a 90 degree cut up field. That's not what you want a speedster to do. That's what you have slow running backs to got guys like Marcus Allen could have done that. A guy who runs a four, seven, but cuts on a dime. Would you want Bo Jackson running shotgun sweeps? No. And Bo Jackson's a four, two runner or he was where he most a four, three runner. He doesn't need to be doing that. He needs to be in the I formation with use check leading the way running outside zone left and right. I mean, he averaged what, like six yards of carry in that? And so th in this game, we're like, you know what? We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that because it works. So, and they're expecting it and they can't stop it even though they're expecting it. So you know what? Let's go shotgun. Shotgun. Like that's not fooling anyone. You don't have a dual threat quarterback. You don't have an RPO package that's hurting anyone. Everyone knows it's just a run. That's not your best. It's not your best scheme. So uh, to me, it was like, well, yeah, Raheem Mostert didn't look at 3.7 yards per carry. When I get the, the coach's tape tomorrow, I'm going to see what he averaged from the gun because I don't think it was good. Um, okay, so the run scheme, I didn't make it. It's like it was so great last year. Every every game was like, wow, that was a masterpiece. Kyle Shanahan and uh, Mike McDaniel are the best at scheming runs. And then yesterday was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, where was all that good stuff you did last year? Why are you not using use check? Why are you in the gun? What is this? I mean, I understand wanting to get in the shotgun for pass plays, but to have your base run game for week one, be these shotgun sweeps, it's not your identity. It doesn't suit your, it's not your, your, your identity as a coach. It doesn't suit your uh, personnel and it didn't work. So what was that? Okay. I didn't like that. Moving on. What was good? What was encouraging? How about Jarek McKinnon? First game back, first game with the 49ers. I thought he played well. He had a touchdown catch. He had a long run in the red zone. He made it through without getting hurt. Arguably, he should have been getting more targets because I think my uh, fellow all 49ers rider, Leo Luna, pointed out Garoppolo targeted his wide receivers 11 times, completed four passes. So um, instead, a couple, instead of those throws to Trent Taylor, we're going to get to Trent Taylor later. How about a few more to McKinnon and Mostert? I really think the Niners could have won this game just throwing dink and dunk passes to running backs all game. Really. I mean, Mostert had a 75-yard touchdown pass, and they didn't go back to that concept to him like until late in the game, fourth quarter. What's up with that? You should have been running choice routes, dodge routes, Texas routes, quick outs, quick passes to your uh, running backs all game. It's all that worked. And the Cardinals couldn't cover it. The Cardinals were playing man-to-man -man coverage most of the game. And they were doing really well against the Niners wide receivers because the Niners wide receivers are backups. I mean, when even when Dante Pettis gets open, Garoppolo doesn't want to throw to him. Uh, so just you're in the shotgun anyway. You decided you want to be the, the New England Patriots for a week. So what do the Patriots do? They throw their running backs. Throw to the running backs. It worked. He had success doing that. So um, just shot you a text, bro. What's up? Hold on, what'd you say? Oh man, it's long though. I can't read these all in the air, but I appreciate it. I'm gonna read it after. I'm gonna read it after. So good game for McKinnon. 
should have had a bigger workload. I think he deserved it. He looked fresh. He looked healthy. He looked spry. Give him the ball. Why are you calling passes for Trent Taylor? He didn't look quick. 